your head nearly popped off your neck when you saw this about five minutes ago, Christopher. Dude. So um, the trade deadline's next Thursday, and Kyrie Irving, according to Woj, has told the Nets he wants out. Now, look, Durant told the Nets he wanted out, and he's not out. He's still there, although he's hurt. And since Kyrie returned from his suspension because he tweeted out a link to one of the most odious anti-Semitic tropes that I don't know if Amazon still has it on there. I don't know why Amazon still had it available for people back then, too. So let's let's throw the stones where they all belong. Um, but since he returned from suspension from that, the Nets were terrific with Kyrie and Durant and Jacques Vaughn coaching. He returned from suspension on November 20th. They lost the next night at Philadelphia. And then two nights after that against Indianapolis, once against Boston on December 4th, and then won every single game until January 4th. Yeah, they won 12th straight, right? And then Durant gets hurt. They win the game in which he gets hurt and then started losing. They lost four in a row, won two in a row, lost two in a row, won two in a row, and then got smoked by Boston, and now all of a sudden he wants out. I have no idea why. I imagine we will find out why. Is it contract-related? I don't know at all. Feels the team isn't backing him up. I do not know. So, so is Sham- it a plot to get to the Lakers? Yeah, to re- yeah re- maybe. With LeBron? Yeah, Shams had it too. Uh, the franchise has been informed that Kyrie prefers to move on ahead of the February 9th deadline or will leave in free agency in July. So he's done with Brooklyn. Well, then I would say that Brooklyn will be done with him. You want to, what, uh, he'll leave? or the, what, what are you going to get for him? Well, well, by the way, what would you, let's just say he wants know. to go play with LeBron now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what Manic here. said. Obviously, yeah. the questions now are if the Lakers can put together a big what, what, deal. There's no way. What, are the, what assets do the Lakers have? That's why they went and got Rui Hachimura because all they had to do is ten years from now. Because that's what they they could flip Kendrick Nunn and three twos. But if the first round selections that they're allowed to give, which is what the next ones are allowed to give up, are twenty twenty seven and twenty twenty nine. If I'm not right, mistaken, you're not allowed to give back to back in the NBA. So why would and and they've already given up other ones. Right. So why would the Nets take two ones so damn far in the distance? And the question is, if LeBron wants him here, and I would imagine he would, then if the Lakers don't do everything they can to go get him, how will LeBron feel about that one? And I I have a feeling that the Lakers would do it. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) I mean, in a heartbeat, no matter what, Kyrie's track record of tweeting stuff out or creating departures from Cleveland, Boston, now Brooklyn. And it's crazy that he would want to do this to the team he's always wanted to play for, as we saw in the video when he first arrived, that kid who grew up in the shadow of Brendan Byrne Arena in New Jersey, rooting for Drazen Petrovic and those Nets. You know, that he would do it to this franchise now. But there's, as you know, a lot of water underneath the Brooklyn Bridge and a lot of water over the Holland Tunnel to be discussed between the Nets and Kyrie. I mean, all of his BS aside, he's been balling this year on he's the court. He's been terrific. 27-5-5, he's, five he's an all-star starter. Correct. He's been great. And all of this stuff is going to be like if he doesn't get traded – now, what if he gets traded to the Lakers by next Thursday? Does he just sit out the All-Star game? Because you're not going to bump a Western Conference starter, are you? Well, the starter is not. They just pick teams now. There's no East and West, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Good point. Thank you for that. Yep. Team LeBron, Team Giannis. So my, uh, My little rabbit hole I just went down was completely worthless. <laughs> um, so, all it's right. So, um, <laughs> there you have it. First blush thought. Dang. If I'm the Nets, uh, I'm thinking, again, this guy.
This guy, this guy. Okay. You're Durant. You're sitting there coming back. What are you thinking? Get him out, right? Don't you think? Yeah, get rid of him. Or I don't know. They're so tight, and they're they're both well, in this, such rarefied air. Like, you know, well, this might have been take why me too. Uh, Durant you wanted to trade in the first place. Remember last offseason, he was like, I'm out. I'm done with this. After Kyrie opted back in. Right. Whether that was coincidence or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't figure it out. <laughs> Sean Marks must be like, oh, my God. What's going on? I'd hold, you know what? I would say, screw it. I would hold on to him, try to win a championship with him. Yeah. Say, Jacques Vaughn, sorry, you have to handle all this stuff. Kyrie, suck it up. You're you're not going anywhere. We told this to Durant last summer. We're not going to sit here and take the Lakers' first round selections four years from now for you. We'll send you some other place where we'll get first round picks and other players right now, and we'll reconfigure our franchise. If we can do that using you as the chip. You know who has a but, plethora of picks? Hey, who does? The Thunder. Yeah, that's true. Wasn't well, that where you do send ple- people like him? <laughs> <laughs> right? People like him. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, Paul George went there. I mean, people like him. I mean, you know. A little disgruntled. Stars, disgruntled stars. Yeah. Russ went there. Well, Russ was there. But that's where you send him. Yeah. Chris you Paul, send him. Chris Paul, right? Chris Paul went there. Yeah. You go there, they they hang there for, for a year, they touch up, and then they go somewhere else. <laughs> and they keep amassing picks for down the line and, because, and draft I mean, ter- terrific players like Josh Giddy and try and win games. Yeah. And at some point, they'll hit the win it now button again, right? Because they, they've got the first pick for a seventh grader right now, a kid who's currently <laughs> in seventh grade. So. Is that true? That's true. Isn't I it? think, yeah, seventh or eighth grade. Wow. What a league, man. Bronny James, essentially. <laughs> this league, man. Not Bronny, Bryce. Oh, Bryce. Yeah, well, Bryce is in like night. So. This league, man. Yeah, like, That's what I would do if I'm the Nets. Sorry, Kyrie. Or say, who wants him? Get all these offers for him if teams want him. And, uh, and, and, and send him to a spot where he doesn't want to go. <laughs> if that's what's going to be as good for... The franchise, and I don't know what what, what are the Lakers going to do? They're going to fl- they're going to flip um everybody not named um, LeBron and Anthony Davis. I mean, and and any other draft choice they still have left to go. I don't know how that could be better than what other teams can do, right? Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free. 